If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Maddie, a senior at UC Berkeley studying electrical engineering and computer science. In today's video, I kind of just wanted to break down a lot of the myths slash misconceptions about UC Berkeley. And I'm just talking on behalf of my own personal experience at this college, as well as the slight knowledge that I have of like my friends' experiences. And so this video is no way a reflection of like, the 40,000 plus students that attend this school. But this is my last semester here and I just feel like I was very scared coming in as a freshman especially at AC Berkeley. I think it would have been nice to have a video like this where we can see if a lot of the myths are true. Personally for me coming in as a freshman especially as an EECS major at UC Berkeley I was scared of a lot of things whether it's the location itself, the difficulty of the major, finding friends and stuff like that so in today's video I just wanted to give like an honest reflection of my own experience so without further ado let's get started with today's video where should we start off with first do you have some notes here so i guess the first thing that i kind of wanted to talk about is being able to graduate within four years my first semester as a freshman was very hard and i did not know what i was setting myself up for i had a lot on my plate and i eventually had to drop one of my cs classes cs 61a to be exact and i was so stressed and worried about my future i knew that ex was a pretty difficult major here and so I felt so behind just dropping that one course because that first semester I was just taking EEC 16A which only sufficed one of my technical requirements and so I was really stressed and again I did not know if I was going to be able to graduate within four years but now that four years has passed and I'm reflecting back on the past semesters I had nothing to worry about if anything I'm graduating a semester early and I didn't realize I actually had a lot of leeway and time to fulfill all of my EECS requirements. I will say that AP tests that I've taken during high school has helped a lot especially in terms of like achieving my overall units and stuff like that and breath requirements but I think even without having those AP tests I don't think it would have been impossible to graduate within four years. Also speaking on behalf of like some of my friends a lot of them double major so for example a common combination is data science and economics and even though then a lot of my friends did not even know what they wanted to do during their freshman year so they just kind of took their first year exploring different classes and eventually stuck with like data science and econ and are able to graduate within four years. I think that there is a lot of leeway and it's not something that people should stress about. Even if you're not able to graduate within four years I think it's very normal for a lot of seniors to extend their college years by a semester or a year. Also I'm not saying that it's super easy to graduate within in four years I'm just saying that's not something that students should really stress and worry about and as long as you plan and organize your future semesters you should be good to go another misconception that I believe exists in the UC Berkeley culture is that clubs are overrated I actually find clubs to be very important if not necessary for you to build a community here UC Berkeley is so huge and especially like for me I'm enrolled in a bunch of computer science classes where there's hundreds of different students it's really hard to make friends or connect with others and I think clubs are great for that because you're able to be in a smaller group of people and also be connected by your interests so for example I joined different clubs until my junior year one of the first clubs that I joined was at the Cal which is like a clothing organization here on campus another club that I joined was a consulting club and that's where I found like my closest friends but I will say there is like a stigma around like consulting clubs and how toxic and cutthroat it could be but I personally think that if you just find a consulting club that you really click with and it's not just for the resume or you know because of the title that it has on campus I think it can be a really great source for you to make long-lasting friends and another organization that I joined was a sorority and so as you can see I joined different clubs based off my different interests and this really helped me make a lot more friends on campus and make college more memorable in a place that I can almost call 
call home. Again, I think clubs are really important and if anything, I find clubs to be worth more than attending your classes or trying really hard in your classes because I think education is really important. Obviously, that's like the main point of college, but I think clubs are also very useful because it helps you create a bigger network, which I don't think can be achieved elsewhere. I think giving that up for your academics just to get like a B plus instead of a B minus is not something that I think is worth. But I will say I think a lot of people join clubs their first two years and once people are juniors and seniors, their friend groups have solidified and they created their own network. But obviously there's still a lot of people that apply to different clubs their junior and senior year. Trying to join at least one club on campus, maybe you might not have the best experience with that club, but I think that just shows that you should venture out and maybe try out another club. Also, I think there's a misconception that recruiting your junior year is the most important important and it's okay if you don't really get internships your freshman and sophomore year which I agree with to a certain extent but I really do think it's valuable that you find some sort of internship your freshman and sophomore year and I think startups are great for that there's a lot of startups here at Berkeley's that are started by students or newly grad students and I only say that because I think your junior year internship is the most important because if you're able to get a return offer from your junior year internship I think it sets you up to a nice path and it's a great backup option for you to get a new grad job because while UC Berkeley is prestigious once again it's huge filled with lots of bright and smart students and it's definitely competitive but to set yourself up for that nice junior year internship you gotta have something on your resume from your freshman and sophomore year not saying that it's necessary but I think it helps you increase your chances by a lot while the prestige of the internship is not important your freshman and sophomore more year. I think having some sort of experience or exposure to corporate or startup world is nice. And obviously this is all if you are planning to head into the corporate route or have some sort of experience in the 9 to 5 world. But I know not everyone has those aspirations. Maybe you're aiming for something more creative and whatnot. But I'm personally just speaking on like if you are aiming to get a 9 to 5 postgrad. I think another myth or misconception is that students are depressed here. I guess it's how you see it and who you surround yourself with but I think when you're joining a club you're just like surrounded by so many people and I think if you're in a club it helps you worry less about your academics and I think that's where a lot of the stress and worriness comes from but when you're in a community with like 50 other people you guys are all exploring your interests together. I really don't think students are as depressed as it may seem. I'm, I'm not saying that people aren't stressed like I'm very stressed all the time and I constantly have something to work on and I'm always scared of missing a deadline for some assignment but I think if I didn't have anything to look forward to like my clubs would have different events or banquets and like fun weekend activities and if I didn't have something to look forward to I think I genuinely have such a hard time in college but obviously I'm just surrounded by a bunch of other students who are like me who are in a bunch of different clubs and we're all just having fun together we do homework together Together, we help each other with projects. Maybe I just have a wrong perception of Berkeley and students are way more depressed than I think but I feel like college is fun and I really don't want college to end. Another understanding of Berkeley is that it's unsafe. Yes and no. I feel like all my answers are like yes and no but coming from a pretty safe neighborhood I was terrified when I came to Berkeley. I had a pepper spray on me the entire time. Like I held onto my pepper spray while walking down like the street near campus honestly like the scary people around here they don't really care about you they just like mind their own business and as long as you ignore them and pretend like they're not there it's really not a big deal yeah i'm completely used to it now i mean i do still get scared especially at night walking alone by myself but i always try to find like one friend who can accompany me and i don't even have like a pepper spray on me anymore honestly there's nothing to worry about i mean i've heard a couple of pretty scary stories that happened around campus but as long as you're smart about your surroundings and don't do silly things Berkeley is relatively safe that's basically it for today's video those are personally all of the ideas that I had about Berkeley before going to school here and a lot of them turned out to not be true and I learned so much while I'm here and I had so much fun I hope this video helped in some sort of way again I'm just speaking on behalf of my own experience and how I view UC Berkeley and obviously everyone's judgment 
and perspectives are different from mine. So just take this video with a grain of salt and I'll catch you guys in my next one.